Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another Hoptics video. And today we got some pretty good stuff with the side of sad news. As you might have heard, the release date for the DLC 6, you know, the Director's Cut DLC, it is being pushed back a little bit. The original plan was to have it released on March 18th, and now the planned release date is going to be April 8th. And that is because Texas recently got hit with a lot of bad weather. Yeah, if you don't know, the Gearbox HQ is down in Texas, and it was really bad weather recently in which people had frozen pipes, their pipes bursting, water leaking through their ceiling, ruined electronics, power going out. Uh, basically, it was a really bad time in Texas. So it does make sense the DLC was pushed back a little bit. Again, the new release date for the Director's Cut DLC is going to be on April 8th. It's only a month away, so hopefully they can use the time to refurbish the DLC and make it the best they can. Alright, on to the hot fixes. There was a lot of good and a little bit of bad in this one. Now, if you're a fan of melee, melee has been toned back a little bit. And what I mean by that is they nerfed the damage on the fish lap grenade mod, the melee damage. So it will be a little bit weaker. To be fair, not many people actually use the fish lap for its melee damage. Uh, they use it for delivering the groundbreaker guardian rank skill. So in a way, this grenade was not really affected all that much. What was affected is they nerfed the white elephant artifact to be less on the sticky grenade damage. Now, in the notes, they did not say how much, so we're gonna have to wait and see on that. Also, they fixed Amara's Remnant skill, so it should no longer receive unlisted melee, slide, or slam damage bonuses. Alright, on to the good stuff. The Rhino Launcher is now going to be added to loot enemies' loot pools. Yeah, so if you don't know, the Rhino is a legendary launcher that was in the game's code since release, and they have finally decided to add it into the game. That is pretty awesome, and I'm really hoping they actually adjusted the scaling on it too, because when the game was first created, all the weapons in the game, including the Rhino and the code, uh, they were balanced around Mayhem 4 being the max. Now that we have Mayhem 10, I'm really hoping it got a damage buff. Like I said, this thing can drop from loot enemies, so it didn't say exactly who, so I'm assuming the Chubbies, Looter Psychos, Loot Tinks, and so on and so forth. Uh, next on this list, we do have the Firestorm Grenade mod. They added it to Aurelia's loot pool. Yeah, this grenade's been on quite a journey. It used to drop from Captain Trant, then for some reason it got removed and was world drop only, and now it has been moved over to Aurelius Loophole. Finally for today, we do have seven weapon buffs too, and the first one is going to be the Web Slinger. Uh, they increased the weapon damage on that. Now, this thing was already buffed in the past and was still pretty bad, so hopefully this new damage buff will actually make it worth going for for Guardian Takedown. Up next, we have the Devoted. This also got a damage buff too. The Roy's and Thorns. This also got a damage buff. Yeah, this weapon wasn't too bad back on Mayhem 4, so hopefully it performs on Mayhem 10. Uh, then we have the Magnificent. This weapon was known as one of the worst weapons in the game, and it got a damage buff. Will it be enough to compete with the Light Show Pistol? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that. Now, for the last three, these are all going to be TDORs, and as you might have heard recently, TDORs got adjusted, so they're not as strong as they used to be. So these three weapon buffs are much needed. The Mother 2 SMG, the Smart Gun SMG, and the 10 Gallon SMG all got damage buffs. So hopefully now they're going to be a lot better. Anyways, that's going to be it for the hotfix notes. So let me know below in the comments what you guys are looking forward to the most. For me, it's going to be the legendary Rhino rocket launcher. And I'm really hoping it holds up to be a good launcher for my Mo's build. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Peace out.